What's up my dudes and welcome back to a brand new diecast unboxing video. Today we're going to crack open a couple of green lights. And even though I think they're really nice looking and pretty detailed, they, they tend to have flaws. So I only have two to open today. And not only that, but they're pretty rare in my area. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right into the video with this one right here. 69 Copo Camaro ZL1. Now this was eight bucks at Hobby Lobby. Barrett Jackson World's Greatest Collection Car Auctions. I guess this is meant to, uh, you know, simulate a, an actual car that sold there. And uh, they even have, like, the price it went for, I believe. Let's see here. Sold, yeah, for $231,000. That's, that's Lambo money. That's, that's no joke. This thing is awesome. So, so awesome. There's a little bit there. Uh, I, I've actually been looking to see if it says how many of these that green light made. I, I don't see it. If you guys see it, let me know in the comments. But it says limited edition, but it doesn't, doesn't say how limited, which is kind of weird. But yeah, it looks pretty good in the package. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and put the camera down, and let's go ahead and crack it out of its uh, plastic case. All right, there we go. We made the appropriate cuts. Now let's go ahead and crack it out. And there we are. All right. So yeah, 69 Chevy Copa. That's a nice weight to it. I will say that right off the bat. That's cool. Delphi's got some nice weight to it. Let's see if I can get a little bit more light so we can see the details on that metallic green paint. Pretty nice. Looks like we got a big old thumbprint on the on the windshield <laughs> but it's, it's all right it's probably hard to avoid but honestly overall this paint is very glossy very smooth it's very nice i really like all the the chrome trim details around all the windows the handle and the key lock yeah oh <laughs> and that's what i was talking about some of the issues that green light has i guess i can fix that with some glue but I shouldn't have to, you know what I mean? Like, come on guys, get it together. Um, yeah, it says Camaro right there on the trunk lid. <laughs> this is crazy. I happen to have some really good glue, so it's not that big a deal, but there we go. See the, there's the Chevy bow tie. Tell it's look good. With the Barrett Jackson license plate. Krager rim, which look fantastic. Beautiful grill and headlights. Yeah, it looks really nice. These very appropriate tires with very realistic tread looks great. And like I said, it is metal on metal with a bare metal base. Yeah, the Goodyear on the wheels looks pretty good, or at least on. Oh, does it not have it on the. Oh, weird. I guess it doesn't have it all on the front. Maybe it's as realistic to how it was, I guess. Interesting. Yeah, really good model. And then uh, I, oops, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just have to leave the wing off for, for, for right now. Let's see, I think the hood opens, maybe not. They're notorious for tricking me. Like, it seems like there's an engine in there. Don't want to scratch the paint if it doesn't open. All right, I'll be right back. Yes, we have achieved open hood. That was way harder than I think it had to be, but it's all good. Yeah, really nice detailed engine. Check out that big air cleaner. Blocks a different color. That's dope. I love that the, the bow tie is in blue. So sick. Yeah, they did a good job with this one. Check it out, it even kind of rolls a little bit. <laughs> For a green light, hey, that's pretty good. That's not bad for a green light. No joke. I might just leave the hood open because it was such a chore. <laughs> All right, so we'll leave that back there. We will put our wing back on. Ugh. Okay, we'll do it later. And, <laughs> and now let's go ahead and open up the next one, which is this awesome 71 Chevelle SS from a TV show I've literally never heard of, The Rookie. But when I saw this on the shelf, or on the peg rather, like I was like, damn, that Chevelle is sick. I had to grab it. 
Like, I don't care what show it's from, you know? Yeah, so those are the characters. I don't, I don't even recognize a single one of these actors either. <laughs> yeah. No idea. But uh, who cares? It's all about the car. So let me crack it open and we will set it free. All right, and here we go. Let's go ahead and bust it loose. All right, there we go. Ah, oh, that beautiful blue. More Crager rims. Green light really likes using those. Yeah, this thing is dope. That paint is bonkers. Except, of course, for that little scratch. It's all right, though. You know, honestly, I think these two cars might have just redeemed green light a little bit in my eyes, even with the broken wing. I mean, look at that. How tiny the license plate is. I still can read it very clearly. Taillights look really good. Headlights look good, grill looks good. Again, with the realistic tread on the tires. Let's see if this one rolls. Yeah, it actually rolls. Not bad. Got a nice black interior, very detailed. Let's see if I can open this. Oh, it's got some hood pins, that's pretty cool. Looks like this one might open a bit easier just because of the shape of the hood. Oh, that's sick. Flat black engine compartment. Orange block, chrome heads, or valve covers. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, this is seriously one of my favorite pieces in my collection. So dope. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, you guys, those were the only two vehicles I had to crack open today. Uh, in my eyes, uh, again, like I said, even with the, the wing mishap, uh, green lights kind of. You know what I mean? Redeem themselves a little bit in my eyes. Uh, I mean, I can fix that with a little tiny dab of glue. No big deal. Um, but really, the quality on these is pretty darn good. What would you guys think of these two cars? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new to my channel, my name's J-Dog, and I post diecast videos fairly frequently. Uh, a little bit less frequently lately. I've been super busy, but I'm trying to get back on schedule here. And thanks for tuning in, and we will catch you dudes next time.